Hey, Orange One here. So we're still in this lab uh, that we were in last episode, and um, I'm literally starting right where we left off. Uh, I think we need to get out of the lab because we're starting to get uh, frostbite, and we're just starting to hurt us. So, yeah. Um, let's let's make our way out of here. I'm just curious, how much power do I have? Actually, I have a good amount of power. I think. Um. Yeah, we have enough time to uh, tunnel our way in in here and then out. Trust me, this this is a, a good investment. We'll have to wait a little bit for our power to come back, but you can get some really good uh, serums from in here. Yeah, like, look at that. Purifier serum, that's like super hard to craft. Oh, this is where one of the holes in the ground is. Is this then... I'm just curious if I try and peek up... No. I can't. Alright, well, I gotta wait a little bit. I, I've forgotten exactly how much power you need for the tunneling CBM. Uh, minimum of 250. Okay, so we're gonna have to wait. Like, that, that should be enough. And then... Um, yeah, we'll keep that on. And that's how you uh, use probability travel to get around obstacles. Pretty useful. Pretty darn useful. Um, I think we're moving very slow right now. Yeah, we're moving like at a quarter of the normal speed or something like that. So there was a fair amount of time that was going by each time we, we made like a move there. I don't know if you were... Um, I, was, I noticed it from the power. Our power was like climbing up pretty dang fast. Um, which is good, but it's also concerning because it's like, why is it going so fast, you know? Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to recover our energy and our health and I think I want to look into making like an electric balaclava or something. Uh, so if we look at um, like electric balaclava or electric thermal suits or outfits, yeah like this, this is what we want basically. And I don't think I've got any mutated anatomy that will prevent me from doing this. So basically, that's what we need to do. Um, so we need heating elements and clothes, basically. Okay, that's that's not too bad. I can I can get a ton of heating elements. I might be able to even make some. Yeah, like I can make heating elements. I could <laughs> make a few of them. Yeah, let's let's make four. Why not? That'll help us in our our crafting. It looks like our arms and our head are really what's the coldest part. Um. So. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to just highlight all of these and be like, "Yo." Oh, actually, I could just straight up do it from rags and heating elements. Well then. We'll do that. Um, I need 18 heating elements. Okay, well let's let's see what we have in here that may give me heating elements. If I look at what you can make with heating elements, that should help me figure out what I need. Um, oh, a hand press? Do I have one of those? I don't think I do. Like a mess kit, a food dehydrator. I think I have a spare food dehydrator in here. I'm almost positive, and a soldering iron. Right? Yeah, there's like... Yeah, I've got two soldering irons in my inventory right now. So let's take one of those and disassemble it. I mean, if I don't have the heating elements myself, I'll be able to craft them from the various things that are in this lab. Or, um, in this Lennox, like... You get heating elements from like ovens and stuff, so it's not not gonna be impossible for us to do. It's just gonna take a little while. Um, so we disassembled that soldering iron. There was also a dehydrator in here that we had. Yeah, this guy right here. It's to our west. Sure, I'll take that. I actually have no idea how much how many heating elements each one of these things will even give me. To be completely honest. Um, let's see. 
Where is that electric? I'm not seeing it right now. Thermal electric outfit. Oh, that's why it's electric's not the first word. Um, I've got seven of my 18. Yeah, we're gonna need more. Okay, let's see. What did I need to make the heating elements? I need a lot more copper wire. I thought I... I think I dumped a lot of copper wire at a base, but we're kind of far away from the base. I bet we could get copper wire. That's like the other alternative for us right now. Oh, our flashlight's pretty much dead. Okay, well, let's replace that flashlight. Or, it looks like we've got some ammo to load up. Uh, let's replace that. Sure. Just drop a, our extra charge there. And, yeah, this is basically what we're gonna do. Um, what do you have here? Oh, copper wire. Nice. Um, and some solder. And we don't really need the solder, it's the copper wire that we're gonna need. Um, which I don't think we'll get from any of those parts. Though here... Yeah, there's a little bit of copper wire there, it's not much. Yeah, I think the amount of copper wire that we're getting is not worth disassembling. I just am gonna just check it though. If we're trying to make... I think it was like 40 or something that you needed for a heating element. Yeah, that's like not even worth disassembling those circuit boards or signal receivers, I think. Yeah, we'll leave those out there. And we can get copper wire pretty easily. I'm not too worried about that, actually. Um, let's just take a second, though, and I'm just going to first off all turn that off because we already have this vehicle light on. I had a feeling that would be the, the case. And what does Herrera have in it for us? Oh, this is the robot um, book. Okay. Uh, that is a lot of recipes. I am, I'm very intrigued though, uh, about what we could build. I'm probably gonna look at that more. Um, off camera. I would like to have another robot, maybe one that doesn't shock. Like the short circuit samurai is a cool thing to have in the car, but like I haven't used it because we get shocked. And maybe if we got electric ca capacitance though, I might feel differently about that. And we got one for a companion as well. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, we were gonna read and we know what we're gonna learn from this. Um, raptor mutagen. What do you need to make raptor mutagen? Is it like reptile things? Oh, you need lizard and bird mutagen. Oh, interesting. Okay. And purifier as well. What? Okay, that is... That is a lot tougher than I thought it would be to make, but I really want a raptor mutant, so... I'm probably going to have that on the back burner. Um, let's just get in here and, and get these heating elements. I think we're going to just loot slash get heating elements. If I look at you, I probably could get some stuff that would uh, give me like copper and stuff, but I don't really know what would give me what, to be completely honest, is the problem. I'm pretty sure there's heating elements, um, I don't know what would have a heating element in the lab here. And the computers, they're not going to have heating elements, you want to keep those cool. Can I see anything? Not really. There's nothing that jumps out. Um, just gotta get this flashlight on then, just for a little bit. There's a boomer. Okay, I guess we'll deal with the boomer, get boomed on. Oh, the, you know what I bet happened was that they kind of like teleported through the wall. Like they were here and then they like came up here. I mean, I could teleport over to the other side of the wall, but I would be trapped there, is the thing. Like that, 
Uh, Cybernetic is pretty awesome, but I don't have uh, enough charge. Oh look, a hot plate. That's literally perfect. That's like just what I was looking for. Four heating elements. I think we need ten. So I think we need like six more heating elements. Oop, wrong button. But if we get lucky like that a few times, we'll we'll have this electric balaclava um, or suit or whatever you want to call it up and running. I should probably be turning off the light when we're not here. But our vehicle's pretty much got full power, so... I feel like I don't need to, you know? Uh, yeah, hot plate. Oh, and we even get copper wire from that 10 units of it. It won't be enough to make more heating elements, but... I think we needed like six more heating elements. How many can I make? I'm just curious. I can make four more. Sure, let's do it. It's just gonna make things go a little bit faster when we need them to. Oh look, it's daytime. Perfect. Okay, well we can turn off our aisle lights then. And then... Oh, also I've got a ton of junk on me. That I don't really need to have on me. Do that, that, sure. I'll keep the battery on us though. Oh, the, the jerky's rotten? How did that rot already? That seemed like a little silly. Okay, so... I think that's the table that we're looking at there. Yeah. Okay, so we don't want to put these not on the table. Um, we'll put that away. I think we want to have everything else with us. Cool. Yeah, I bet that we... Um, it's kind of... Okay, yeah. It's weird that it's like showing this and then that's like unseen. Like I can't see that. You know what I mean? Maybe it's like not quite bright enough. Because it's not quite like day day yet. Uh, what was that? North, you hear a huge explosion. Okay. I'm just going to take a minute and see if we can find anything else that can be crafted for heating elements or something like that. And we could probably disassemble a computer and then use its components to make heating elements, right? I bet that would be something that would work, because they'll have like copper wires and stuff in them. What's this door over here? Huh. Is that an actual skater bot? It's broken, okay. That's, uh, oh, this is where the incandescent Hulk was. I remember you. Can I open these up and just back way up then? Get the gun out. Is he there or is he coming towards me? And he might be coming towards me, I'm not sure, but it doesn't look like it. We can totally kill him. Pretty, yeah, pretty easy actually. And they tend to have pretty terrible CBMs actually, so I'm just gonna smash them. The tech though, the zombie technician, I kind of want to break that down and see what we can get from that. I know we're gonna be frostbitten pretty soon, so we'll be quick. We'll just go out right away. Uh, where's the stairs though? It was over here, right? Yeah. No? Yeah. And then what do we have in here? Chemistry set? Oh, that's gotta have like a heating element in it. Absolutely. Uh, we just can't carry it. We don't have enough spots. We'll come back for it after we see what CBMs we get from this guy. Nope. Do not go in the dissector. Again, sorry for the heartbeat. It's almost done though. Uh, where's that predator? Yeah, they're far away. We're fine. I'll just wait so we get our breath back. So we don't have that sound going. And then it's a, see about um, dissecting this technician. They tend to have pretty good CBMs, so we could get something pretty cool from this. I'm excited. We'll see. Um, nothing. Really? Absolutely nothing. Okay. I see how it is. How it's gonna be. 
I mean, I kind of wanted to just get Harvey out of the car there to just go smash that zombie, but... We'll have, like, a whole episode of Harvey smashing zombies soon enough. Uh, I'm curious if we look at this. Copper wire, hot plate, yep. This, this should be everything that we need. Awesome. I'm I'm excited to have this electric um, thermal suit. I I don't think I have any mutations that will prevent me from wearing it, right? Yeah, we've got like no real physical mutations. Like all mental. We're just like completely insane. Okay, we'll drop that and then um disassemble that, yep. Nor and then the hot plate, sure. And we'll have an electric suit. I might want to put a big battery pack on it though. I don't know. Where's the uh, therm outfit? Okay, so we need the rags and sinew or thread. I don't have enough sinew? Really? Kind of weird. I could have sworn that we had enough sinew. Do you get sinew from um, zombies? I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna get some cloth and some thread probably in here for this. In like one of the bedrooms, I bet. Um, I know we should also probably be carrying something a little bit bigger uh, for storage. I just realized. But it should be fine, right? Uh, and we'll get thread if we disassemble it, right? How much thread do you get when you do that? Might yield 35 rags, so it actually doesn't give you any thread anymore. Okay, well, we'll take one of those then. And I only got five rags. Really? Okay, so I am going to need to get, like, some more storage or something. Is there any storage containers in here. There's cargo shorts. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna wear some cargo shorts then. How many does that let me take? Well, that's still not enough. We're gonna have to get like thread or something from somewhere as well, so we're not done quite yet. You know, I'm actually curious to see how much the, the thermal um, outfit allows us to explore down here, because I don't think it's actually gonna let us explore it all that much. Well, let's do more, but I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and dump. Yep, we'll dump all that. Oh, I still have my special books on me. I don't really need those. Uh, and then I also could have, I think it's in this one. No. Then the other ammo pouch. I need to put that away. Cool. And then how many do I need for the thermal? I need 30 more rags. Okay, so we need like a backpack or something then. I have a backpack in here. I also have a number of Kevlar items I need to break down because I've been thinking about trying to get that um, Kevlar gear for our companion here. It's like Kevlar vest. I think once he has that, he's going to be pretty much set clothing wise. And besides, you know, as that clothing gets destroyed, we have a Molly backpack. I could use that. Let's just use the molly. Sure. I know it's fil filthy. Stop complaining, Nosh. It's okay. I don't know, I feel like Nosh. He's the type of guy who doesn't mind getting a little dirty. You know? He's like a complete psychopath. But then again, maybe he's like a germaphobe. Why does this do that sometimes? Sometimes when I go sometimes, it gives me like, it only lets me pick up some of them. Okay, so that's all of our rags. Um, and the thread. I think we have like string or something that we can disassemble. I bet we do. What is that right there again? I was just curious. Yeah. Nothing that, that we need. I'm hoping that we can actually do some exploration. I was 
not sure if I want to do this off camera or not, and I was kind of in a rush today, so I didn't know if I had time to um, take care of things off camera. Good. Uh, and we'll see about what string we have. So there's got to be some around here, right? Yeah, we got some string. We got plenty of string, actually. If I disassemble that, that should be enough, right? Is it? No, it's not. What do I need? I, mean, I can make the thermal electric suit. That's the torso, arms, and legs. I want the outfit. Um, I need... I need two more thread. Seriously. Okay. I need two more thread. Couldn't cut some corners there, bud. Okay, thermal electric outfit. Um, soldering iron should get recharged. I believe it's like in the UPS, so I think it should just get recharged as it's being made. Wow, this takes a long time. Huh. Uh, stop crafting. Sure, we'll just take a little little break from the crafting. And I'm also realizing that... Um, let's see... Oops, sorry, just give me a second. Hey, so I know this is kind of a sudden jump, and sorry again about the heartbeat, but um, I wanted to go back and basically craft the thing in a place that was just a little bit less action going on um, because we were having some issues with getting attacked or not getting attacked um, just like our um, log just getting full of stuff and I want to show you Harvey um, against the skeletal juggernaut he's doing pretty well as you may notice the juggernaut seems to be not accurate enough to hit him with his um, I mean he does hit him from time to time but it, he doesn't hit him very often compared to how often Harvey's hitting him. And if we look at Harvey, I mean, he's a little banged up. I mean, his right arm is totally fine, but I mean, he's he lost, like, less than 10% of his health. And he just, like, totally just, like, 1v1 took out a skeletal juggernaut. So I think that he may be also good against Hulks then, I believe. And I also want to show you, um... Oh, that's an H and K. Is that... Is that what I, I put in here? Hold on. Did I just... Yeah. Um, it is the same... No, it's not the same magazine. No, never mind. Sorry. Let's reload that with the one that's in our inventory. Um, it is the same ammunition, though, at least. That much I can say. The HK417, I think, is what I was carrying that one time, and that was from my old gun. I believe was it wasn't an, one of those, I don't think, but it was something kind of like it. So let's go ahead and I'm going to just kind of pick this uh, some of this stuff up. I'm going to definitely take as much Kevlar as I can. Um, just drop that. Hold on, I thought that I... Yeah, I, I was getting a molly bag, so I thought that, that should be that should be good. I'll also drink some of that clean water. If you have clean water, why not, right? <clears throat> and we'll have some of our tea that we've been hoarding a little bit. Actually, I really should just like take all the emeries. And look, there's a little battery. Like you can get so much good stuff from those Kevlar enemies. They're basically um, leveled up soldiers. Um, in terms of like the loot spawns, which is huge. I mean, if you if you want Kevlar, that's where you need to go, right there. Um, so I am going to just take a second, and I know it's kind of wasteful, but I'm just going to dump the stuff out and cut it up as is. I know that I could repair it. I could use plastic to repair the helmet, and then I could get more Kevlar. Blah blah blah. I don't. I just don't want to do it. You know. Honestly, uh, the MREs. I just need to for not forget that I have these because I feel like that's gonna happen. It's also good food for us to bring back to base. I was just thinking, um, and then the Molly 
backpack we're just putting straight below us. And I think that should be good, right? So if I look here, yep, I can then cut this stuff up. <clears throat> oh, the, uh, the knee pads there. That was not anything worthwhile. Uh, see, I only got like five Kevlar plates. Not a lot. It's better than nothing. But I mean, if we look at all the Kevlar plates that I have, I have uh, 11. Is that it? No, we've got, we've got more than 11. We've got, yeah, a little bit less than 20. So I think we need like 40 something for his uh, Kevlar, that XL Kevlar vest. It's actually right down here. Um, yeah, I need like 43. So I mean, that that one dude got us a good chunk of the way of what, where we need to be for that. Sure, we'll just stick that in there. And then, wait, what just, what was that noise? Did you hear that? It sounded like something like exploding in gore. And I was like, Harvey? Because I, I have heard that their heads do explode. The NPCs, if there's bugs, they're like really bad bugs, which is insane. Like totally insane. That's that was how they like dealt with bugs. Um, I have no idea what that sound was. Like honestly, if I look at the log, is there anything that was like something getting squished? Maybe it was our character hallucinating or something. Um, more batteries. Okay, let's stop running. Am I hearing? Southwest and below, I'm hearing stuff. That is interesting. I wonder if that's uh, something connecting from the railroad to the lab. Because that seems to me... Yeah. Um, yeah, what we're hearing, I think, is stuff going on below us. Uh, let's just dismember that. Yeah, what was that? Whatever it is, it's it's loud. Okay, that's not got any battery power in it. Sorry there, Harvey. I know. I know how excited you were. Just there. Um, I mean, it, there's the two railroads essentially between us and then this lab here, which I feel like has a connection to the railroad system. Uh, was I also... Oh, there's like a technician that was wandering around here. I think I may have disassemble that technician, right? I don't know, I feel like my memory's failing me. I'm going to um, maybe move the car over because if there's stuff below us it might just make it t take a little bit longer to actually sleep. Uh, but I forgot to show you guys, look we have our, our electric thermal outfit and it's got 500 batteries in it. Um, if we turn it on how am I com uh, temperature wise? Like, what does that do for me? Um, why is my left leg so encumbered? Hold on. Left leg, right leg. Why does you got two two ammo pouches and a scabbard on there? Really? Like, why? Why would the game do that? That's the most insane thing ever. Well, our legs are pretty encumbered, um, so I need to keep that in mind. But it looks like our temperature's fine with that on. If I turn that off, what is my temperature like? Um, so I've got like 9, 9, 14, 14, 25, 9, nothing on the eyes and the mouth. Oh, I think our eyes and our mouth are not covered with this thermal electric outfit, right? Or no, it does. It covers the mouth, uh, but not the eyes. Hopefully our eyes... Oh, look, our comfort level is actually rising right now. So if I look here... Okay, yeah. So that is actually very significant. It looks like it boosted it by 40 up to a max of 60. Okay. Cool. Um, I think it kind of eats the charge, though, kind of quick. So we might not want to leave that on. We might want to just use that to heat up from time to time. We could also UPS convert it and then have it run off our power... That might be better than um, doing it this other way. I don't know, though. 
Um, it probably would be a better better idea, but I just kind of want to get back into the lab. So we'll just sleep here. Um, turn off the, the camera system. I'm not worried about anything getting us here. Uh, can I close those? Yes, I can. And it's actually nighttime right now, so that's perfect. Um, sure, turn off the repair nanobots. And I'm actually just kind of curious if I look at you. Yeah, you're exhausted right now. Um, I think you sleep better when you're outside, so I'm going to have you come out here. I know it's light out, but it's going to be dark real soon. Oh, sorry. Wrong. Wrong. Um, if I... Oh, man, he's he's too fast. So if I have you go all the way out here, and then I run back over here, can I do that? Can I get there? Yes, I can. Haha. <laughs> And then he'll he'll be out there. Actually, you know, he's not gonna sleep if I if I don't tell him to relax. So, just relax. Yeah, it, bed's calling your name. I get it. It's it's nighttime. I'm actually doing the same myself. I don't want to sleep outside. And we do have an electric suit, so it'd be fine if we really wanted to do that. But I don't really want to do that. Also, I think I have a high um, capacity medium battery that I had put in the recharger um, during that little intermission. So I think I should take that with us. But we'll see. Oh man, I'm looking at it. It looks like we're probably approaching that half an hour mark. So I think I'm just going to end this here and then we'll start back up when we're actually in the lab. Uh, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.